Thank God it's Friday. Right guys, welcome back. Not long since finished work. Absolutely buzzing now. Got a week off next week. My birthday on Monday. So, um, I'm having my birthday off. So I decided well, I may as well have a rest of the week off and all. So, that's what I'm doing. Might go out somewhere for my birthday yet. I'm not too sure. Um, I want to get some work done in the garden. So I'm on about getting a skip here at some point so I can uh, do a bit of work on garden while I'm off get some crap shifted because I want to get it in shape ready for summertime on my way home I uh, nipped into the local koi dealer picked myself a new sock net up I've been needing one of them for a while now so I've picked that up um, tomorrow um, I'm taking a trip down Derby I'm going to see um, Amanda Black Shields. Be getting rid of some fish because he's wanting to think redo his pond, something like that. Um, and his fish have outgrown his pond, some of them. So he's got two or three fish, I think three fish maybe, that he wants to move on. So I'm having a trip down there tomorrow. Not far, only about a 40 minute drive. And I'm going to see these fish and see if we can bring one home with us. So. That's going to be that. Um, the bio chamber now is looking extremely good. Um, very healthy bio chamber. So here's the bio now, looking loads better. Mm, ten times better. So it looks as though that reducing the boil on that has certainly helped it out a lot. So it's looking something like now. So thanks Phil, Law as well, for um, that bit of advice. Um, I had considering um, my waste, what's been going out there, well I'll show you. I don't know if you can see all this goodness in this um, wastewater guys, what's come out of my drum filter. Well there's loads of goodness in there so um, just to help me filter along a bit more I'm going to tip this back in pond just to um, add to me biofiltration a bit more just tip it back in just to give me pond a bit more bio it was at this moment that he knew he fucked up and it's been an absolutely glorious day again today about 18 degrees certainly tell that we're getting a lot more sunlight windows ready for cleaning you can probably not see it as well as I can loads of algae sitting on glass I'm going to have to get that scrubbed at some point fish are seeming a lot happier anyway since they've had that treatment since they had that PP dose and that um, fluke treatment. Looking how happy as Larry now. Who's Larry? So yeah, um, that's probably about it for the time being. Until I go down Derby tomorrow. Um, so I shall catch back. Ooh, a bit look bright, there. So I shall catch back with you guys tomorrow um, when I get down Derby. Hopefully. Um, they won't mind me doing a bit of footage, so if I can, I will. If not, then because I know they don't really like showing themselves on camera much, so if they don't want to be on camera, fair enough, no problem. 
and um, hopefully we'll get a bit of footage of the pond and the fish so I shall catch back with you guys tomorrow What did you say it worth, Chris? 43? Yeah, 43. You love the junk. Certainly probably help mine to come up and feed a bit yeah. more. Everybody tends to follow him up. Yeah. Every time I chuck food in mine, you can chuck it in but then you have to wait a bit for them to come up. Yeah. Because they all seem a bit unsure at first until one comes up and then they all come up. So I'm just hoping that having a chagging pond will encourage them a bit more. He's always up. He's occasionally put like a brown bread. <laughs> Right, we're back from Derby, guys. Chris, oh, nice to meet you, pal. Guys, if you don't know Chris, his channel's Manda Black Shields. Go over and give him a check out. Um, he's going to be rebuilding his pond and moving some fish on. Um, he's got a couple of nice ones to, that he wants to move on, um, quite big. So head over onto his channel, have a look, and I'm sure he'll be more than happy to um, accommodate you. So, thanks a lot, Chris. Um, nice cup of tea, by the way, too. <laughs> um, right, we've got him in bowl, this chag. Um, he's gone through all his all his checks, clean as a whistle. So, Chris, you're a legend. Um, so, yeah, I've just been coming around and have a look at him. There he is then, guys. About 43 cm. Absolute stunner. He's just got a couple of um, marks on his side, nothing too major from where he's probably rubbed in past. Well, that's nothing that we can't sort out. Uh, yeah, he's gorgeous. I'm just hoping that he'll encourage my fish a bit more to become a bit more friendly. Because <laughs> um, although they do come up to feed my fish, the um, a bit skittish when it comes to it being round folk um, and they only tend to really come when you know when you're not looking or when you step back away from pond so I'm just hoping having the addition of a chagging pond <coughs> um, in fact looking at him he look, he's looking more about I'll give him a proper measure in a minute anyway but yeah he's um, looking gorgeous I'm just hoping they'll encourage them a bit more Oh yeah, well happy with him, or her, who knows, because I don't, <laughs> um, yeah, well happy with that, thanks a lot Chris, you're a legend, and I can assure you, he'll be well looked after. So now that he's gone through all his checks, like I say, he's clean as a whistle, nothing whatsoever on him. Um, He's acclimatised to, to water, so I think it's going to be time to introduce him into his new home. Chags is just blending. <laughs> is there a look? Yeah, he's got them couple of marks on this side there, so it'll be, well, there'll be no 
bother them, can soon sort them out. Morning guys, hope you're all well on this glorious Sunday morning. I'm just in the middle of doing a 10% water change. Not me, I was running right down the garden. Down into me drain down here. The sooner that I get that sorted the better. I had to get a drain sorted up the top of the garden but not got around to that yet so yeah just doing it the middle of doing a 10% water change done the tests on the um, water parameters this morning everything's looking good on that side um, nitrates they're more or less non-existent now and um, so yeah all's well um, I have been a little naughty again last night so what is the saying um, everything comes in threes something like that well so we've had that Chagoy off um, off a of Chris from Amanda Blackshield's channel and then I decided that I wanted some more last night on old internet and um, find myself a couple of nice ones um, nothing too big so the first one I bought is just a 15cm Hirasawa Chagoy um, what I've purchased from one of my local dealers um, he does online auctions around my area A1 Koi some of you may have heard on it um, that live my way um, and another one I bought is from Adam Bayer what came from the Oakley spawning. Um, the only reason I checked that out was thanks to Vince at Twisted Koi. He put a link on his page to a blog that Adam had put out, uh, some individual selected fish that they put up on the website so I went and checked it out and sure enough there were a nice chagoy there. Um, I think it were about 22 cm something like that but it looks a stunning fish. And again, it come from the Oakley spawning. Um, and Vince, I watched some of you. I watched um, a video what you did a while back, where you helped Adam out with the um, mud pond um, harvest. And some of them fish were absolutely cracking. So that's what made me head on over to Adam's page and pick one of these Oakley. Um, Chago is up, so I'm looking forward to getting that. I think that's due to be coming Friday, maybe. So if I don't manage to get that on this video, then it'll probably be the video after. Um, so yeah, I'm wait waiting on that one coming, the Oakley Chagoy and the Hirasawa Chagoy. Um, so I'm looking forward to receiving them. Um, also, what I want to ask as well of any of you guys now this is not a knock on Chris or anything like like this but this Chagoy these couple of marks where it's gone inside um, I want to try and heal a few of these scales um, and I just don't know the best way to go about it um, they don't look too bad it just looks as though they've ever so slightly lifted where it's probably rubbed in in um, Chris's pond in past so I want to try and figure out best way to go about treating these scales so if any of you guys have got any ideas best way to treat scales then hit me up and let me know because I'd like to get them sorted um, so yeah um, what else have I got to say um, oh yep yeah, and next week we are heading further north or West, whichever way you want to put it, northwest, um, and we're going to see. Uh, let's, how can we put it? We'll just call him Batman. 
um, if you know you know <laughs> so yeah looking forward to that want to meet him um, have a chat and this is draining down there like I say I'm only doing 10% so he's down there look Chris I did wonder at first whether it might actually be a female because um, some of the other fish were going wild around it um, they seem to have calmed down a bit now but it did make me wonder whether it was just it, because it's a new fish and they were just checking it out I don't know but they seem to be going a bit wild around it so yeah that's about it for the time being I'm going to get the, this water change bleeding light around here, it's terrible so I'm going to get the this water change sorted um, and hopefully I will come back to you pretty soon um, I think I'm more than likely to re to go and pick this um, Hirasawa Chagoy up sooner rather than later so I might get that on this video um, well like I say the one from Adam that will probably be in the next video I'd have thought because he's not coming till Friday so yeah another couple of chags coming um, I think that's going to be it now for fish for the rest of this season I think I'm going to need to focus on these now and get these growing um, and I've still got the tancho to come yet um, probably in another couple of months or so um, so yeah I think that's going to be it for me this season no more fish um, temptation's always there isn't it but no I, th I think I am just going to have to concentrate on what's in my pond now um, get some growth put onto these concentrate on these fish hopefully put some good sizes on them come autumn winter time um, and then see where we are for next season so yeah catch you back later guys so it's Monday it's my birthday I'm week off work, kids are back at school, I'm going to enjoy peace and quiet while it lasts. So, the missus has bought me a few nice things for my birthday, and um, she's just out uh, on school run at the minute, so one thing what she's bought me is she's bought me a case for me microscope to go in, because um, the microscope just came in a general cardboard box how it will deliver it so I'll spin you around and show you the case well, this is the microscope case for the apex practitioner come in nice that instead of it just being sat out on workbench she's bought me this this is the camera for the apex practitioner um, is it called the something grab screen grab or something I don't know but basically you just plug it into your it's, it's just like an eyepiece this replaces your eyepiece you just put it in your microscope and then your USB cable plugs into it um, and then you plug your USB cable into your computer or your um, your laptop or whatever so that'll come in handy so happy with that and then another thing that she's got for me is a book <coughs> The Secrets of Koi Unraveled by Jos Aben it's supposed to be a very good book this tons and tons of information in it I've had a quick flick through it um, she's a very very well presented book seems to have loads of different information in it um, yeah, all through fin shape and body shape, skin, growth, water quality, food, breeding koi, um, description of different varieties, and development of koi varieties. So I'm looking forward to getting stuck into that. Um, although I'm not a very big, big reader, I don't particularly read much. I prefer to watch watch a screen <laughs> and have the story told to me 
but when it comes to things like this I shall definitely be putting some time into studying this and learning as much as I can from it so yeah that's it that's what I've had um, oh apart from she also bought me the Tancho as well so she spent a fair bit of money on me bless her um, now the plan is today to at some point maybe next couple of hours I'm going to be heading over to um, my local Koi supplier A1 Koi um, Richard he's got a great facility up there um, I'm going to fetch this Hirasawa Chagoy off him so yeah I'm going to go in the house now and get some breakfast enjoy peace and quiet listen to a bit of music on um, on Alexa um, and I shall catch back with you guys later on um, when I've been to fetch this Chagoy so see you in a bit guys I just got back from picking this little Chag up guys it's got him floating to acclimatise um, and once he's finished acclimatising we'll get him in bowl and take a quick look at him right so I'm going to put a link in the description guys um, to Richard um, his, co his company is A1 Koi Supplies in Alfred and Derbyshire. He runs online auctions. He's got a, he's got a Facebook page um, called A1 Koi Auctions, but he actually runs the auctions from the app Band. So if you go on Band, um, I will put a link to it um, and search A1 Koi Auctions. You can go on there, become a member, um, and then. He puts loads of different koi on that you can bid on and win. Now these koi, the high quality koi, um, he gets all his stock from Ricky at Koi Wholesale. And um, so you know they're going to be the best of quality. Um, Richard is a very knowledgeable bloke. Um, he'd more or less do anything for anyone um, to help you out. He's actually helped me out. Um, I told him about this Chagoy that I need to try and treat um, to help the scales of it and he's actually given me a box of Medic to help me along so thanks a lot for Richard if you see this for that, it's much appreciated top man for that um, so yeah guys, like I said Rick, Richard's a very knowledgeable person he knows Ricky very well from Koi Wholesale, he gets all his stock from, from Ricky um, so I'm going to leave a link this is his channel so be sure to go and check him out um, and you'll get some very good quality fish from him so I hope that helps everybody out as well so I'm going to leave this fish floating now um, and then I'm going to get it in bowl and we'll have a quick look at him so there he is then guys about 14-15 cm Little Hirasawa Chagoy. Looking forward to see how it develops. Got a nice netting to his scales. So, yeah, like I say, go over and check Richard out. Richard Willis, A1 Koi Auctions. He's got some nice fish. So, also, what I like to do is have a bucket of pond, uh, a tub of pond water, and I add it slowly to the water that the fish is in just so it can adjust to the pH and things like that of my pond my water parameters and then although it's acclimatised to temperature it also needs to acclimatise to the pH and etc of my pond so I'm going to slowly start adding this over the next half hour or something like that um, and then you'll be ready to go and join the rest of them And I'll just keep doing that for the next half an hour. Slowly adding my pond water in just to help him acclimatise better, get used to my water parameters. So I'll catch back with you later, guys.
Alright. That's how I must come. Off it goes. Right, that's going to be it for me now, guys. Until the next video, catch you later.